Okay, so let's talk about hydrogenation. And hydrogenation, there's a couple ways to do it. In this video, we're gonna talk about basically the sledgehammer approach, which is working with a platinum catalyst. So, let's start easy. Let's look at ethylene. So if we have ethylene and we add hydrogen to it, nothing's gonna happen, but we'll, so we're gonna to have to use a catalyst. And the ca catalyst in this case is platinum. So what happens is that we have a PT surface. What will happen is the platinum is so electron rich it will donate electrons into the antibonding orbitals on ethylene and break this carbon-carbon double bond. Now this is done by electron donation from the platinum to the ethylene, so what we end up getting is a structure that looks kind of like this. Then a bond to PT. To this, we're going to add hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is going to dissociate onto the platinum surface before it does anything with this ethylene. So, by its own, H2 doesn't do anything. On platinum, we form platinum hydride, PTH2. The H2 here will add to this side of the carbon ring. So, we'll end up with I'll tell you what, let's do this hydrogen in blue. With addition of hydrogen to the same side of this bond. Now this is going to matter in terms of stereochemistry. When we do an addition with platinum, the H2 are added cis to each other on, in the terms of the bond. So if there is stereospecificity with these two groups, these two groups are going to end up on the same side of the double bond when the hydrogen gets added. So basically they're going to have the same uh, uh, wedge, wedge dash notations. Uh, they're going to be on the same side. Big picture. So, what is the major limitation of the platinum H2? Well, first of all, this catches fire pretty easily. So this has to be done underneath an aerob anaerobic environment. You can't do this with oxygen. The second, though, is that platinum really is a brute force approach. So, let's switch to acetylene. So when we work with acetylene and we add the, add the H2, we don't stop with ethylene. It's not a single addition. We're gonna add all the way until we've added both hydrogens to the acetylene triple bond. So it's not until we finish with an alkane, which doesn't have antibonding orbitals to interact with platinum, do we actually end up seeing the reaction stop. So something like C2H2 plus H2 on the platinum catalyst is gonna give us by substitution. So let's say we have acetylene and we don't want to go completely from acetylene to ethane. Well, what do we do? We'll talk about it in the next video with the Linlar Catalyst.